Stephen Philpott is a, a professional artist. Uh, he paints full time at his uh, home in uh, Central Butte, Saskatchewan. Uh, Bill's been working prolifically for years and uh, and has a, an outstanding body of work. Uh, he, he deals with uh, the subject matter that he's most familiar with, his uh, hometown, uh, the people, the places, the landscape surrounding it, but he approaches it in a, uh, as an expressive artist. And so he's an expressive artist, but he is uh, speaking directly about uh, about the, the real life that he is living and has lived. I started drawing when I was three and I've been drawing all my life. I just, I fantasized the way I played when I was a kid was I, I took out a drawing pad and I laid on the floor and I, and I fantasized about like drawing pirate ships and, and dragsters and, and you name it, I drew it. When I was young and all through my life, I've been the artist, the, the artist, the son of the famous cattleman. I had to find some way to connect with my own people, and so I decided to paint them and their lives. So, so painting their lives, make, I, I feel more connected to, to, to my roots and that not everybody is an artist or an art enthusiast, but there's so much more that connects me to these people than, than that. So, uh, by portraying their lives, um, I, uh, I connect myself to them. He paints only what he knows, what he sees, what is around him. He lives on a farm over there and he sees all of these combines and cows and horses and the cowboys and he has more freedom in use of color and his best works are the ones where what he says he throws in an odd color in the landscape. And uh, the other one is somehow he hit the kind of twisted perspective. And these are works that I believe are best uh, in his opus. It's expressionist in that it's full of action and life. It's not are not precisely exactly the way it is. It's more like a more um, active way of drawing. I express myself with my brush stroke. Well, I start with a sketch. That I might be driving down the road and say, hey, I gotta stop. And I make a little sketch on an envelope with a ballpoint pen. And that's my, uh, the basis of my beginning of my painting. And then from there, I paint basically the landscape and as I go, I develop it. And uh, so you see a lot of Central Butte and the hills of Riverhurst, the hills of Thunder Creek Valley, the hills of, um, and the plains around this area and the farming lifestyle that people live here. Both imagined and really there. Like sometimes I copy something that's actually there and sometimes it comes directly right out of my imagination. I just know the lifestyle that well that I can create a painting out of thin air. It's scary because your emotions are out there. This is, you're presenting your heart. You want, you want people to, to love it and uh, I just hope it's not ignored. <laughs> this is, I'm painting exactly what we live here and uh, they sometimes, sometimes they wish I would paint palm trees and beaches, you know. <laughs> so um, it takes a little bit of education that people need to know. It's, it's a good, we, we have a very, very beautiful life here. We, we need to celebrate it. And that's why I paint what I paint. When I uh, got to know Bill Philpott, uh, I was uh, impressed. I mean, here was uh, an artist who was uh, seriously dedicated to uh, to uh, his craft and uh, and his vision uh, and the belief that he was doing something important, I felt as though I discovered somebody really special and who was uh, who was making some really great work and I and I wanted to to share that with uh, with the audiences. I think uh, the real authenticity in Bill's work uh, comes from a, a deeply felt uh, love of the place and the people. I mean, growing up on a farm 
and in a small community where everyone knows you and uh, has grown right along with you, uh, there's a genuine love for each other. And, uh, and, and I think that uh, 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 Bill's willingness or interest in, uh, in telling the stories of these people and places uh, comes from a real kind of personal, a personal sentiment.